Hello, my name is Jack Smith and I'm Director of Studies in Pure Mathematics here at St John's College. As you've probably heard, studying maths at university is very different from studying maths at school. At school, you mainly learn specific techniques for solving certain kinds of problems. For example, using trigonometry to find the angles in a triangle from its side lengths, or using calculus to maximise or minimise a given function. Of course, it's important to be fluent in these techniques, but at university, there's much more emphasis on understanding how and why things work and justifying claims rigorously. If you enjoy building and exploring new structures and solving problems, and you want to develop your ability to think clearly, abstractly and creatively, then maths may be the right subject for you. The maths course at Cambridge is divided into three parts, part 1A, part 1B and part 2, each of which constitutes one year of study. There's also an optional fourth year, part 3, which I'll say more about later. In the first year, part 1A, everybody takes the same eight lecture courses, which lay the foundations for advanced mathematics. In pure maths, you learn the basic language of proof and logic, and are introduced rigorously to probability, group theory, the abstract study of symmetry, and analysis, which lets you make precise statements about convergence, continuity, differentiation, and integration. In applied maths, meanwhile, you learn matrix algebra and vector calculus, the language of many physical processes, including fluid dynamics and electromagnetism. You also learn Newtonian mechanics, special relativity, and differential equations. Not just how to solve them, but more powerfully, how to understand the behavior of the solutions even when you can't write them down explicitly. Some of these topics you'll have seen in some form already at school, but here you'll have a chance to explore them at a much greater level of depth and sophistication. In the second year, you continue to build on the core topics from part 1A, as well as beginning completely new ones like statistics and quantum mechanics. Most students take most courses, but begin to specialize slightly. In the third year, part two, specialization is essential as there are almost 40 lecture courses on offer. These cover a huge range of topics, including number theory, machine learning, general relativity, quantum information, and financial models. If you do sufficiently well in part two, then you'll have the opportunity to say for the fourth year, part three. This is a taught master's level course with around 80 advanced lecture courses available and is excellent preparation for going into research. Throughout the first three years, you will receive supervisions to complement lectures. Roughly once a fortnight for each lecture course, you and another student, your supervision partner, will meet for an hour with an academic or a PhD student to discuss problems that you've been working on and talk about particularly difficult or interesting ideas from lectures. These provide an amazing opportunity to really dig into the details and to explore the subject with an expert. Here at St John's, we have around 15 math students in each year and we also arrange additional weekly examples classes for all of the first year students together. The aim of these classes is to solidify the core new ideas that you're learning and to ease the transition to university maths. We also have an active maths society, the Adam Society, which organizes regular social events and a range of talks on interesting mathematical topics. Admissions offers in maths are usually conditional on the step exam and it's important to start preparing for this as soon as possible. This is also excellent preparation for studying maths at Cambridge itself. Alongside doing lots of past papers, I can recommend the book Advanced Problems in Mathematics by Stephen Sickloss, which contains a wealth of worked step problems.